Now that you've looked at real GDP and nominal GDP, we're just going to do a simple example to illustrate this. You're given an example in the years 97, 98, 99. This was your nominal GDP. So this was the GDP at current prices. So that's how much you produced and what you sold at the price that prevailed at the time for each year. As you can see, this increased quite dramatically. So don't get the illusion that that says there was a lot of economic growth. You work out a separate price index. This is according to a basket of goods. And you work out the value of this basket of goods at every year, and you base it at one of the years being equal to 100. So the year where it's equal to 100, this is the base year. Now to work out your real GDP, you have to take your nominal GDP and divide by the price index. And this is also known as the GDP deflator. So to work out your real GDP, you take nominal GDP, divide by 93, and you get an answer of 365.6. And then you do the same, 375 divided by 100 is 375. And then 425 divided by 109 is 389.9. So this gives you the actual increase in production over those years, whereas this gives you the increase in the value of the production. So this is far more important. You've got to see what the actual value of the real GDP is. And from here, you can take percentage changes of the real GDP to work out your actual growth rate in the economy. So to get your percentage change, you would just take new minus old divided by old would give you the times 100 would give you the percentage change from 98 to 99. You, should know, you guys should know how to do that. An interesting factor here is, what is this price index indicating? Well, it's taking the actual value of those basket of goods. You can work out inflation from here just by taking the percentage change from one value to the other. So the percentage change inflation from 97 to 98 will be 100 minus 93 over 93 times by 100. And that'll give you your inflation.